Arthur wanted to investigate how the amount of exercise he does affects his weight. Each week he recorded the number of hours he exercised during the past week and the change in his weight during that week. Positive, mean, positive number means he gained weight. Negative number or negative means he lost weight. Suppose Arthur wants to create a scatter plot according to the data presented below. Complete the sentences below. The amount of exercise should go on the well we want to put we want to put the driving variable on the horizontal axis and the dependent variable on the vertical axis. So the amount of exercise is what drives or what in theory drives his weight gain or weight loss. So we would want to put the exercise, the thing that's driving the other variable or what that or that might be driving the other variable that we want to investigate whether it's driving the other variable, we want to put that on the horizontal axis. The range of that axis should be from well we just have to see what's his range of exercise over this investigation he's doing. So let's see, his largest amount of exercise that he performs in hours is, let's see, there's 8.9 here. That looks like the largest amount of exercise he performs. And what's the least, the smallest amount of exercise he performs? Looks like it's 0, 0 0.3 is the smallest amount of exercise. And so we would want it to be from 0 0.3, or I guess we could go from 0 all the way to well, we 8 won't be good enough because we have a couple of data points that are at 8, 8.4, 8.9. We need to go all the way to 10. We definitely don't have to go we don't have to go negative because we're not there's no negative amount of exercise here. So 0 to 10 should be sufficient.